Fisheries are renewable and can be fished to a constant level known as the maximum sustainable yield. Once this level has been surpassed, catches will only continue to decline. It is a sad situation that over 75% of the world's fisheries are overfished and depleted. Temporal decreases in catch per unit effort and high quantities of juveniles caught are often the most reliable of major indicators to overfishing. There are six forms of overfishing recognised by scientists worldwide. Growth, recruitment, biological, ecosystem, economic and Malthusian. Malthusian overfishing occurs when poor fishermen faced with declining catches induce wholesale resource destruction in an attempt to maintain income. With immature fish being removed at worrying levels, the recruitment pool that would in normal scenarios replenish the adult populations is constantly being diminished, preventing the recovery of coastal fisheries. Overfishing is often driven by an increase in the number of fishermen within the fishery, combined with a lack of alternative income streams and protein sources that lead to an increase in fishing effort to maintain income and food security. An increase in effort has led to an increase in gear size in their respective numbers and a decrease in gear selectivity through decreasing mesh sizes. Species extinction through cascade effects and a reduction in coral cover are also a result of overfishing. Such high levels of depletion call for the need of effective management strategies. A common management strategy to increase fish populations is the use of marine protected areas. MPAs are an area of ocean or sea that have restricted human activities either all year round or seasonally. The major activity often restricted is fishing, and these are termed no-take areas, which target the ecosystem's health and its services. MTAs must be self-sustaining and should be able to persist regardless of the fishing pressure outside of their boundaries. After they have been established, it is often found that the size, length, density, biomass and diversity of species all increase within its boundaries. Strategically placed no-take areas provide a valuable option to local and regional managers and are able to target vulnerable populations and areas which provide a particular ecosystem service, such as nursery habitats, spawning and aggregation grounds, incorporating larval and juvenile dispersal. If used correctly, they've also been shown to replenish stocks in neighbouring areas through a spillover effect. Within local fishing communities in the tropics, income streams and protein sources must be diversified and alternatives explored. If alternative methods can maintain income and food security, then the amount of fishermen within the fishery will ultimately decrease, potentially becoming sustainable as fishing could fall beneath the maximum sustainable yield. Family planning, education and bylaws to alleviate fishing pressure with sustainable methods are also an essential component to any management plan.